what's going on everybody and welcome back to the division it has been out for a year now so we got the celebration emotes we've got all these new emotes and everything it's a good time to be playing so before i get into today's video i want you guys to know one thing massive and the team at the division have said that this is not a glitch nor is it an exploit it is made this way so that everybody can have a fair shot in last stand however one thing that I have noticed is that if you have everything that you need to, in order to do this, you have a more of a higher advantage than other people because they might not have been playing when they could have gotten these things. And also, you probably know more about how to fine-tune these items than those who are getting into it just now. So what we're going to be going over today is gear score items and what they do in Last Stand. So as you can see here, destructive and responsive. Now, I'm running an entire electronics build. This is not my normal build. I just wanted to throw this on to, th to prove a point. I can throw on an entire firearms, an entire stamina. I can throw on any type of gear that I want that's all in one category or spread out a certain way. But what I'm basically showing you is that destructive and responsive talents require this amount of requirements. But this goes for anything. So unforgiving, vicious, brutal, deadly, all of these things that you might want, talented, competent, they all require a certain amount of points in your main stats. However, if you go to a lower gear score, this is nothing new, responsive, deadly, competent, I have responsive unlocked because the way the talent spread is, two, five, six gear score items have a lot higher main stat rolls than lower gear score items. So as you can see right here, I'm actually using a 182 mask. Now this would actually be equivalent to this but I don't have any 256 gear score tactician mask, so I went ahead and rolled a really low gear score item for when they did sell the blueprints back in the day, back in 1.1 and 1.2. So as you can see, I'm missing a few in the firearms category for that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a 163 all great here with a responsive deadly competent because I have all of them unlocked. Then we're going to take a 163 black market SASG with destructive, responsive, and unforgiving on it, and I have all those unlocks. Now this so far is nothing new. A lower gear score item requires less requirements in those main stat points. However, you sacrifice damage. So if you look here, this AUG only does 7.7 thousand. Now if you look at one of my other AUGs, 13.7 thousand, but I can't unlock the talents. Or if you look at any of my other AUGs or any of my other guns, I can't unlock the talents because they're 256 gear score and they have a lot higher requirements. As you can see here versus right here so you can see the big difference in the talent requirements now this is what I want to show you we're gonna go ahead and jump into a last stand match now like I said before this will work with any type of build that you have whether it be full stamina full electronics like I have right here or full firearms it'll work with any of those types of builds because 163's talent requirements are so low that you can achieve them with basically just your holster and the minimal rolls on the other stats other than the main stat. So like my chest piece here has main stat electronics, but it's got 205 in stamina and firearms. And I mean, I'm even missing a piece right here that's got a really low roll, but I still have 163 talents unlocked. Now here's what I want to show you. Now keep an eye on the damage on my SASG is 37.6 with 193.5 stagger. My AUG is 7.7 thousand and five I guess if you want to be exact and 21 percent crit chance now watch when I go into last stand now this is where it really comes in handy is if you want to play a lot of last stand this is where I ran into this was playing last stand I noticed this a while ago a couple of days ago but I was unsure if I should do this video or not but you know what massive and the guys at the division decided it wasn't a glitch it's not an exploit so I'm gonna go ahead and post it for you guys so you all know you can unlock any talent you want with any gear set you run. All high-end, any talent. You don't have to run Alpha Bridge to unlock all, f all three of your talents or any of them. You can run whatever you want and have all of your talents unlocked if you would like. In Last Stand, all your gear is normalized, all your weapons are normalized so that everybody is on an even playing field. But I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth what that means for you because not technically everything is normalized and I'll explain it all right as soon as we load into this match which should be any moment now all right so we are loaded into our last stand match and here we go 
So I'm going to show you here is all my gear has been normalized. So as you can see, everything has been rolled to the highest maximum stats. Even my mask has been rolled up to a 256 mask instead of a 182. Now, you guys remember the damage on the AUG and the SASG. Now let's take a look at them. Boom. My SASG and my AUG shot up to a 256 gear score with their stagger increased and their damage increased and the crit chance increased. But look here. The requirements for the talents have not changed. This has 163 talent requirements with the damage of a 256. So what does that mean technically? I can run a full electronics build if I please with destructive, responsive, brutal, deadly, anything I choose on my guns. Now another thing is, is we could take this a little bit more in depth and I could run a full firearms build with no stamina and still have Vicious or Unforgiving unlocked. So what this does technically is allow you to unlock any talents, as I said previously, any talents you want with any gear set you want as long as it is a lower gear score weapon. You can unlock any talents you want with any gear set that you want or no gear sets at all. All it requires is for you to have a gear score of 163 weapons or possibly even a 182 gear score weapon. But 163 is obviously the one that you're going to want because it has the lowest amount of talent requirements. So let's go ahead and take a look at how do we get these lower requirement weapons. Well here's one thing that you can do. If you go over to the special blueprints vendor right here, you will always see 256 weapons and 256 gear or level 34 gear. However, you scroll down more and you will find 204 gear, 182 gear, and maybe even 163 gear. That is one way to do it so you could craft whatever you wanted. Now if you've been playing on your on one of your characters for a long time, like since 1.1, pre 1.1, you know, through all the patches, you'll also have already blueprints. So this isn't my main character, it's kind of like my second main character. I play on her a lot, but my main character, eh, I just don't want to switch to it right now. But you can see I have 256 gear score, 229, 182, and 163. So I can craft a, on this character, I can craft an AUG or a Damascus pistol at a 163 gear score, which means that the talent requirements are so low that I can unlock them with any build I choose on anything. Another way that you can get this is if you actually go to your map, once you've changed your world tier to world tier 1, you can really farm whatever you want to get those low gear score weapons. I'm just choosing a world boss because it's easy to find and it doesn't take long to get an actual reward to show you guys. And we all know where Bullet King is, so we're going to take our 163 gear score weapons and we're going to go melt them with a tactician build. Now, as you can see here, I did get a 182 gear score holster because gear, your actual gear that you're wearing does not roll with 163, only weapons do. So gear will be a 182, but you can still use it because it will get normalized in last stand and you will get a 163 weapons. Now the 163 weapons, as I've been saying, you can unlock any talent anywhere on them. So like this one, this one, Vicious is 2257 to unlock on a 163. I'm not going to want that, but I'll keep it just to show you guys this, just like I don't want this. Well, I'll show you this too. The holster rolled with this. In Last Stand, your holster will roll to max stats. So if I really wanted a Steadfast holster, I could use this if I really wanted to. But it's only going to be good in Last Stand. Just like the weapons, they will only be good in Last Stand. So Vicious on a 163 requires 2257. Vicious on a 256 requires 4790. Now if I took this pistol into last stand, that damage would get increased just like my AUG and just like my SASG did. What this allows you to do and what I've been doing is I've been able to run around with full firearms builds such as this. Now with a full firearms build, the AUG was around 18.3 outside of last stand and the SASG I believe was around 90 outside of last stand with a full firearms build on 163 gear score weapons. Now in last stand, we can see that the SASG shot up from 90 to 130k and the AUG shot up from 18k to 26.1k damage. 
still allowing me to unlock responsive, whereas responsive technically should be 2874. So there you have it, guys. Now, like I said before, Massive and the guys at the division have said that this is not a cheese nor an exploit, basically because what this does is this allows people that are maybe a 190 gear score and they're not quite a 256 or maybe they're a 182 or anything below 256, it gives them an opportunity to compete in Last Stand with all of us that are maxed out. However, the way I see it is if you can benefit from this and you already know what you're doing, this can greatly improve the damage that you're going to do and the build diversity that you can build. So hopefully this helped you guys out and hopefully you enjoyed And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate everything. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.